So yeah, uh, go reclaim it. And go reclaim him. Hey, you know where we haven't... Uh, uh, Paimon? Hey, you know where we haven't been in the longest time? But yeah. I mean, if you say it like that, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll help you do this. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I was quite, in, I was quite unexpected to, to hear Paimon uh, <laughs> at this moment in time. But I should have known. Yeah, uh, that I'll be shortly ready for this when it comes out. Um. And afterwards, we have an event that uh, I was uh, many flavors to the <laughs> I was acquainted with uh, when Paimon asked me about it, which is related to Arotachi Ito. And this is the Arotachi Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Champ. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, beetle battles are always a fun time, and apparently they have added. Um, interesting, well, gimmicks to their specific uh, battles, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, so let's see. Your diet has been quite plain recently, and Paimon's been missing the spice of life and food. As such, you head over to one main restaurant, only to meet several old friends. Thus begins another wondrous round of training quotes. So yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> I didn't know you were here, hey, uh, <laughs> nice of you to come in and say hello. <laughs> um, so, it's not the Tori, well, hey, yeah, it explains things then, uh, so someone that's uh, accomplished with machinery is a marionette. Uh, someone that we saw in um, the what was the, this thing called? Um, we saw that in the chapter interlude, in the interlude chapter, yeah. Um, a winter night lasso. That's right. Yeah, we saw Marionette there when there was the. Uh, the funerals of uh, La Signora, Rosalind. Oh, that was something special. <clears throat> but yeah, nice of you to join in, my dude. How how have you been? I hope everything is going great for you. Um, I finished uh, the world quest. Um, what's uh, questioning melody and answering the machine? And here we have this event with Aratachi Ito. So uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The hot pot stand. We know them. Huh? Huh? Nani? <laughs> All right, I missed I missed the uh, Liu Wei music in OSTs. It's been a while. Traveler Paimon, you here too? What? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, uh, Yanfei is here as well. So, Joji Shinobu, Yanfei. Ah, oh, it's been it's been so long. Was Zhang uh, Lin's cooking too hot to handle? No, it's nothing like that. One main restaurants just closed for a couple of days. Oh really? Why? But it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. 
Su Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. Oh, I miss them so much. It's been so long. <laughs> Yeah, what's happened? Well, it was partly our fault. Why was it partly your fault? Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Good night, my dude. Sleep well. Recently, some old cla classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and state and said they were organizing a get-together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. Uh -huh. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. Neat. The turnout was a lot higher than expected, and in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant's stock for the week ahead. <sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course he did. Aratachi Ito is always, um, always the the chai guy that we love to be around with, but also don't want to be around with. <laughs> Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. With Aratachi Ito? Of course. Why wouldn't he? The only thing is... It'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Wait, when you said boss, do you mean Ito? Bull checkers here too? Oh, Bull checkers here too. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah, when he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and yeah, of course. decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote. Any classmate of Shinobu's <laughs> is a classmate of mine. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ito, my dude. You're crazy. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never <coughs> studied a day in his life, I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Leeway. Yeah, you mean, uh... When was the last time there was not leeway? Was it um, within the <clears throat> period of the perilous, perilous trail quest, world quest, or Archon quest, perilous uh, trail Archon quest with Zhao? Was it that that time specifically? That is, uh, yeah. That other kid you guys brought with you, though, what was his name again? Oh yeah, Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. Grandmaster Hanakado. <clears throat> you probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, uh -huh. but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, liwe cooking skills. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his oni kabuto <laughs> and make them stronger. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose so. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah! Didn't I remember that, too. Did during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? Um, yeah, the, um, almighty Aratachi extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle bro. That's right. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the beetle brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki Gate. He and hmm. Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Oni Kabuto rearing strategies. Nice. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of Beetle Brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It's made things a lot easier for me. True. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast. Well, at least he knows how to do things. And partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. That too. 
I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone Forest right now with Miss Shangling and Mr. Globa. Wait, are we going to see Globa as well? They all seem to get along great. Globa's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ether calls it. Crimson Staff. And, uh, something something Beetle King, something, or something whatever Hanukkahos it's called. <laughs> They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, me too. Crabs from Glen Stone Forest. Mmm, Paimon bet they taste great. Oh yes. Why don't we go see if they need our help? The sooner Wanmi Restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again. Yeah, but. And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. Hmm. Well, if we're serious about eating at Wanmi Restaurant. Javering ingredients will do faster with more hands. So you two are gonna head <coughs> over? Yeah. I think that's a great idea. The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. Yep. You make a good point. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's all pleasure. Okay, so... Dream Stone Forest, right? It's been a day. Oh, oh my God! I see, I see Inger right over there. <laughs> How have you been? Um, Yanfei, Shinobu, Kuchi, uh, Kuchi Shinobu. Do Do you have anything else to talk about? Ugh, I'm suddenly feeling a bit warm. Maybe I've been eating too much spicy food lately? Yeah, yeah, that will do it to you. Oh no, you poor thing! <laughs> it could be a fever, or maybe the humidity's making you overheat. Wait here, I'll go get you some iced tea. Iced tea, yeah. Well, let's go through Dreamstone Forest then. Alright, let's go back to it. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Yeah. Where are those who share the memory? Isn't that right? The sky is clear and the sun is... What do you see? Ito? Kuopa? <laughs> Shenling? Oh my god. A hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea! Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. <laughs> of course, Ito, of course. That's right, Oni King! Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of a perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Yeah. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. So funny. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. Yay. La, 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 la. Oh, Globa. <laughs> Looks like Xiang Ling and Globa are part of the gang now. <laughs> Time for the travel to visit crabs. Hey. Are you guys out for a walk or something? I know. Uh, we are back to meet you all, it seems. Hey, Shanling! <laughs> hey, Globa! 
Koopa. Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Aw, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. No worries. It sounds the goodness of our hearts, Yanling. And with a smile such as, such as this, it doesn't even cross me its threads. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need <clears> now. <throat> All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Uh... Yeah. About that, um, um, it seems like, um, <clears throat> there might be, um, a problem just about, just about over here. Um, maybe, um, uh, yeah, maybe you should, uh, work on that problem, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. Watch out. Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. How <coughs> How how are you going to assess the situation, Ito? Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But the more that makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your Onikaba to against. Uh, sorry? <laughs> uh, um, uh, how right you are, Oni King. With a training partner like this, an Onikaba to is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, what? Are they serious right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at their faces, though. And that this seems this seems done with this stuff. Wait, I think I recognize that thing. What do you mean? It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. Um why not why not Earthquake? It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. Yeah, tell me about it. How did you come to learn that? Yeah. Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. H.A.A., I'm not going to fight him, you do it. Go, Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! Uh, against the Shield V Shot Hatchling? Yeah, yeah, you definitely have your chances. Grandmaster Hanakado, only King's reliable ally. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal Tornado, passing Shield V Shot Hatchling. Um. Yeah. Beetle King. Oh, one hit and it's all over? Yep. I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible. <laughs> it sure is. What what did you expect? <laughs> okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. All right. If you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat. Luckily for us, our only cover to have a little thing called agility on their side. Yeah, true. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Yeah, that 
It's not it, Chief. Uh, <clears throat> belly. Your foot's belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto or? Uh, I, I well, y um, what? Wait, what's Boba doing? No! Yeah, what's Boba doing there? No. Huh? Um. What? Wait, the bishop can understand Groba? <laughs> your question from a moment ago, Paimon. Yeah? I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guyo Stone Forest. Tornado gave Golba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Uh... Man, what a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but uh, I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. Yeah, truly. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba san simply commanded that hard-shell beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he <coughs> seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm. Well, he's Golba still got a troll. Clearly draw. has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Uh huh. By the way, guys, if you, you, uh, well, if you went up to this point in the video on YouTube, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already as to not miss any other videos from me in the future. That would be much appreciated. Back to the video. Oh, that's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Wopa san is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. Wow. That's impressive. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brain waves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. See, if we can get Guobasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster. Yeah. Seems like it. <laughs> what? Nani? powers Boba may or may not have. We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right. Get a move on, Bug Checker. Shinobu's waiting for you. Also, we want to eat. Huh? Wait. What did we get two new people? So, so you haven't realized what we were here this entire time? <clears throat> oh, compadre! <laughs> If it isn't the Oni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, flying sorry. lavender. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Yeah. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. <sighs> the voice actor is going above and beyond this one. Shout out to the voice actors again, in fact, they're doing an amazing job as always. <laughs> My bad, sorry for lurching. Oh, come on! There's nothing to be embarrassed about! Oni Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose! Let me explain. Let me explain. It's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. Oh, yes. 
So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! So? You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, mm -hmm. but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Yeah, that's a life lesson, it seems. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, uh, well, definitely I'm speechless. Nothing to add. Uh, what's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. Yeah. For once, Paimon had nothing to argue back. It's, it's, it's marvelous. Look at Paimon's face. Ah, <laughs> uh, Grova, are you hungry, my boy? It's fine. Uh, we're going back to one main restaurant. Don't you worry. Did you hear that? Bob is getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Wobasa. <laughs> Uh, it seems like it seems like lets it lights very much. I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is a buzz with the might of great duelists. Mm -hmm. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then and only then will we be ready to seek the guidance of Guobasan. Yeah. Guobasan. Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Yeah. Uh also this butterfly has a time of uh, the chamber of its life. Paimon's got a well a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. So this is <laughs> okay. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Well, he's fast. All right, more beetle fighting. Woo -hoo. What did they say it was called <coughs> again? The Arataki. Something, something. something? something? Mm -hmm. Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Monikado might have mentioned it before. Mm hmm. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. For right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back. Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Right. Won't throwing an impromptu beetle fighting competition interfere with their plans? Uh, well, not much we can do about it except to head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. Yeah. Return to one main restaurant. It seems. Alright. <coughs> well, here right now it's more jambling focused. Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon. Uh, wait, where are the other two? Uh, I thought they were back already. <sighs> Let me guess. 
Ito and Hanukato are up to their usual antics. Nah, it would better be the first time. We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Miss Flower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. Jandrin and Groba whip up a meal from ingredients collected on their trip. It's not long before an exceptional meal is served. By now, Yanfei and Shinobu are hungry too. The feasting begins. As you dine, you tell Shinobu and Yanfei about it and Anakado's run in with Crystal Tornado and the plan to hold a beetle fighting boot camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? Okay, let oh, me... That doesn't uh. bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. Okay, let me say that, say that again. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. <coughs> Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. So that's that. All right. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Hmm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue Law, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <laughs> Wait. First the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Well, yeah. That's how things go around around this part. Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. All right, I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. All right. Yante is in a good mood today. It sure she is. didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. I mean... <clears throat> It's not always that we get guests from afar. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, yep. and she has a <coughs> lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Yeah, true. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. I guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Sure, no problem. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geo Bishop hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kind of curious to see how everything goes down. We'll help you deal with Boss. Now that you mention it, didn't you help Boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? Yeah, but I don't you know, you know, it's so just fun. <clears throat> oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> True. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure. Or Maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? <laughs> go to Greenstone Forest again. Hey, Goba and John Lee. Okay. Um. We've 
already beaten our expected turnover for this month, and it'll still be a while before Dad gets back with the rest of the new stock. So we should be able to take it easy for a while. After that, we should be back to business as usual. Things won't be anywhere near as busy as they've been the last few days. That means we should have time to go and watch Mr. Ito's Beetle fighting event. Yeah. We went to Stone Forest again. Go to this Beetle Brawl. Alright, boss. Fun time in Liyue is over. Let's head home. Mm -hmm. Shinobu! I, I, I can explain! You can't explain anything. <laughs> no, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. <laughs> How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yenpei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. <laughs> but, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. Uh, call Crystal Tornado. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. <laughs> My boy, it's not it's not that serious. Come on. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some vicious hatchling? Shinobu! That was a low blow. Yeah, a low blow, right? Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? <laughs> and try me. <laughs> try me. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Grandmaster Hanakata, give me and boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei Senpai. Shinobu! Oni King! I... You're really doing this, huh? I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay, uh, so... Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. I delegate this challenge <coughs> to you. <coughs> well, um, Look at, look at his face. You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> no surprises there. <sighs> it was so predictable. Uh, what Blue Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. So, Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. <laughs> what the heck is this? If you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. Yep. He really uh, outed himself with the this, this voice acting. Um, and it's raining, of course it's raining, because why not? Except. I'm a refuser. What? Yep. Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You gotta watch your spending. 
For situations like this. Oh yeah? And what is it? It's exactly. you really are out of funds, then uh I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, and expenses out of my own pocket. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. When you're the top dog, you can you watch the bottom line. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. But you still need to beat me first. I know what boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. So, um, Beetle Battle Book Champ is about to begin. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope, nope. Go back, go back. Oof. Um, hey? Hold D to command the other capital to begin charging. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Press A to command. Oh. Okay. After a fierce battle, it shouldn't lose any trouble to narrowly lose the Crimson Staff under Paimon's direction. I lost. I can't believe it. That... that was so tense. Shinobu nearly got the better of Paimon there. What a fantastic fight. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt. Woo! <laughs> you really are natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. <sighs> I'll have to move to Plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum. And make sure Yenpei Senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your <coughs> word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? Don't want you getting carried away. Got it. Sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Okay, so we've only got five battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Right. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Odie King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Now, as for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Right. <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her.
it'll be conventional to show your gratitude with a gift. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving white iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Yeah. Because in a few short days, I. The bona fide Beetle Battle King will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Wobasan, and become a living legend! <laughs> Booyah! Booyah. Cool! Yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure or anything, but if you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing. Look at their evil eyes. Alright, tap the forward button to instruct in a chapter to expand a small amount of stamina. To move half a tile uh, forward and get closer to its opponent, this move will not deal damage. To instruct the only chapter to charge its energy, when the charging process ends, the only chapter will expand a greater amount of stamina to rush forward. When this rush hits an opponent, it will deal damage. Stamina consumed distance traveled, and the damage dealt will all change based on the amount of time spent charging. A fully charged rush will take the only chapter to two tiles forward. Alright. Uh, if the only chapter reaches its opponent exact position upon finishing its rush and hits it, it can perform a piercing strike deal greater damage, which will not trigger the special attack by tapping to advance, and overcharging will not allow you to trigger it either. Alright. The time spent charging decides your rush distance. You can use the charging progress to judge how far your own capital will advance forward. Tap the back button to expend a certain amount of stamina and instruct the only chapter to move one tile backward and dodge your opponent's attacks. If the distance or timing of the dodge is incorrect, your chapter may still take damage. If both only chapter unleash their attacks at the same time, your only chapter will be knocked down without dealing damage to the opponent. Take note of the attack timings. And should your plane's plans change, cancel charging to avoid unnecessary stamina expenditure. Press the guard button to consume some stamina and form a shield against hostile electro boots and jet streams. Holding the guard button will continuously consume stamina to maintain the shield. Use guard right before an electro bullet hits to bounce it back. Uh, I'm trying to change the day because apparently it's definitely gray and rainy. It's raining cats and days over here. Cats and days, cats and dogs, not cats and days. What are you even talking about? Uh, all right. <clears throat> All right. So this is the only Kabuto thing. Is lovely and born. Yeah. Things are about to start getting lively again. Listen to the next breakdown. All right. Hello, all. I am Iron Tongue Tia. Here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Alright. Whoa! <coughs> Is this supposed to be Gold Checker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Sure is. Oh, oh sweet! 
Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design and that line work. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> it's epic. It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle. Dude, wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe Esquire? Ah, that's the one. Tian Esquire, your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. <laughs> you can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry Yanfei? of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a oh, lot. Okay. So when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yenfei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. <laughs> young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. <laughs> Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. I mean, Beetle sure. fighting is something you have to have a natural <laughs> affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Yeah. Thank you, tutorial, right? <clears throat> Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Yeah. Dude, uh, that'd be awesome. Squirt. Uh, squad. Yeah, yeah, squire. Yeah, squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. All right. So, if I understood correctly, uh, wait. By completing challenges on a high difficulty setting, you can directly claim rewards for each difficulty below it. Uh, I travel your properties. Considerable combat strength at medium and close ranges. Attacks consecutively. Medium movement speed. Alright. So. I have to be cautious. There. Oh. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Let's. Perfect. This level of intensity is just perfect for such a contest. That's it. Ah, wonderful! <laughs> mm, I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. <laughs> nice. Iron Tom Tien, aka listen to the Nets breakdown. Great dueling with you, Tien Esquire. <sighs> the pleasure was all right. The phrase is the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> <coughs> Details, sweet tales. Point sweet is tales. thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh -huh. But please. Pay no regard, but just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. 
My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh yeah, learning. Yeah, learning. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Principle and the line beetle fighting. I don't know. Every move has its trick. A fairly ordinary owner chapter prefers to close in on its opponents and attack with conservative strikes. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do this. Now I'll uh, deal with uh, the highest difficulty. And as I said, we'll call it the stream. Look at the software though. It's so cool. Alright, until TN. Tell me about the way of the Beetle Battler. Ah, a great question. Indeed, I could go on for quite some time about this. Li Wei has its own types of contests between insects, unlike only Chabuto battles. Each has its own unique features. For example, there are contests of agility, as well as competitions to see which bird can cry the loudest. Each one of these battles has its own set of mysteries that, with few flourishes of a pen, can transform into many a tale. I can tell my regulars time and time again. Alright. Now. On to the battle. Let's... Wait, wait. <clears throat> Let's beetle battle. Wonderful. Our previous duel was most exciting. Indeed, I was planning to review it quite carefully. In any case, let us go for another round. Just like Bell Saratachi would want. <clears throat> yep. Utmost might. Alright, let's see. Can I win? Oh, ouch. Nope. Okay, I'm almost dead. Errors have been made, it seems. Nice. Well, uh, challenge failed. Try, try again. Charge up to your opponent's exact location to strike them and unleash the charge attack piston strike. Yeah. Let's start again. At least, um, I failed once, so... Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Excellent. Magnificent. This beetle battle has inspired me. Well, I'm glad to, to see that uh, it inspired you, uh, Aranton Tien. Now, let me reap the rewards of uh, this fight. Mm. 
nets will be get, will uh, be unlocked uh, tomorrow. But yeah, lads and ladies around the world, um, I hope you you enjoyed um, this segment of our journey through the vet, and especially that <laughs> our actually blazing armor beetle battle boot camp. Uh, I mean, it's only the first day. Uh, we will come back um, with uh, next part of this tournament uh, whenever it is available. And yeah, I hope you guys and ladies uh, enjoyed it on YouTube. If you did, leave a like on YouTube and hit that subscribe button as it helps me a bit time and it will help me, well, try to push the uploads more frequently in the future. With that said, guys, thank you all for tuning in today and I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.